Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel, and today it's Will It Shave Wednesday. Another blade showdown or comparison. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. Just got out of the shower after a fresh haircut. And wow, that barber did an excellent job. <laughs> Today's showdown, that would be me, by the way. Um, before I get started, I want to say happy birthday to my beautiful wife. And thank you for taking time out of your special day to load these two razors on a blade showdown. I have no idea which blade is in there, but I will tell you that... We are getting close to the end of the showdown. Today's blades that are going to be compared is the Gillette Silver Blue. The one that I think is my favorite, but we're going to find out. Is it really going to stack up against the Gillette Nasset? All right. Well, I figured I'm going to use the same soap that I used the other day, which is by PAA, and that is blue Samhain. I also have the matching splash to go along with it. And you know, I was thinking back about the shave and I thought, why did I use a beautiful black trotter's handcraft when I could use a beautiful blue trotter's handcraft brush since it's blue Samhain. And just to change it up a little bit, I have the lather whipped up in a captain's choice, but not a copper bowl. This is their beautiful blue bowl. Look at that. And I kind of like the way the, I don't know if you can see it in the, in the camera, but the, um, the sides of the bowls kind of go in. So at the bottom, as you're lathering, if it starts to come up, you know, instead of going, oop, wrong finger, instead of spilling out, it's going to go back down into the bowl. And that's a really nice feature. The scent on this, I told you guys the other day, it's kind of a sweet, boozy scent. And there's that nice combination of sandalwood and kind of a pumpkin scent. And they do go well together. Oh, yes. No pre-shave for today. So if you like that kind of a, a scent, it's definitely... I'll say it is a fall scent, but you know me, if I like a scent, I'm going to use it all year long, and I do. So you may see this quite often, and I apologize for that, but if you want to get a good shave, <laughs> scent is part of it. Look at that. Mm. Okay. Let's go with razor number one. And uh, I forgot to tell you, if you're new to the channel, this is a showdown of blades and we're almost to the finish. But if you're new here, thank you for stopping by and checking out my channel. Uh, please look at some of my older videos if you have any special requests. Anyway, this here is the Game Changer .84 and it's a solid bar. All stainless steel, beautiful razor. All right, here we go. I have two days worth of growth. Nice and sharp, pretty smooth. Not gonna take any guesses yet, because I just, just don't know. <laughs> Let me take the other razor, this one, which is a, another Game Changer point eight four solid bar. And let's go with... This one's pretty smooth, too. It's, it's doing... An excellent job mowing down. I will say it's not quite as sharp as this one. So let's go ahead and continue on with the shave. Uh oh, I'm going across the line there.
Hmm. This is this is gonna be a tough one. It really is. Hmm. Well guys, I may be wrong on this one. Feels like a very nice. This side here is a little bit closer than this side. Let's go ahead and get lathered up here for pass number two. And I'm just thinking about the shave as I'm lathering up. I can tell you which side I already like. It's going to be this side. And, <laughs> oh boy. I don't want to be wrong, but deep down, I know. Have you ever liked something just because you liked it and you try to tell yourself it's the best and, and maybe it is, maybe it's not, but in your mind, it's the best. <laughs> uh, and this is what the whole point of this showdown is. See the nice lather with PAA. And this is the um, CK1 version. Uh, I like that just, you know, I don't know, just because I like that a little bit more. So this razor here is going to be the winner and this one is going to be the loser. And based on this side being smoother and a little less sharp, I'm going to say that this side is going to be the Gillette Silver Blue and this side is going to be the Gillette Nasset Blade, which is this side. And <clears throat> being that I've got probably close to a thousand Gillette Silver Blues, I, I want to say that that's what this is. But I know based on the sharpness and the smoothness, this is just a little bit sharper and a touch smoother. Oh man, that pains me to say. I think this is the Gillette Nasset. So... Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look-see while my lather is soaking and drying onto the face. What is it? Sorry about the interruption there. I had an alarm go off on my phone. Um, you can't see it because of the lather that got s sucked in there. And I can't really rinse it off, but this is the Nasset. So the Nasset will move on. And the Gillette Silver Blue is in the razor on this side. And that's a little bit of a letdown because I've been telling everybody I love the Gillette Silver Blue. And I still do love the Gillette Silver Blue. But I honestly thought that that was my favorite blade. And this is a good reason why you should go back and revisit some blades that you thought you didn't like or maybe they weren't your favorite because you may discover that say maybe your technique has changed or maybe you've got a different razor uh, and sometimes preferences can change and I know this is a preference thing so people out there that have the Nasset may not like it and they may like something different. So I'm a little surprised that uh, the Gillette Silver Blue didn't make it into the final countdown, which will not be next week, but it will be the week after for the final. So I'm going to put a picture. Uh-oh, I'm sitting here editing my video, and I just realized that... I'm a big dum dum. Uh, the blades that were supposed to compete today were going to be the Gillette Silver Blue versus the uh, Gillette Wilkinson Sword. So I'm not going to show you the tournament chart. This is just a freebie video, and I will have to do <laughs> another shave next week. All right. Sorry, guys. Continue on with the video here where we're at in the tournament and where. Certain blades have failed or did not succeed and have stayed 
in the dust. <laughs> All right, so let's get the shave going. And uh, I'm a little disappointed that I had an alarm go off in the middle of my video. What was I thinking? I know what it was. It was, I have to set an alarm to remind me to take the trash down. <laughs> and that's, that's what happened. This is a, this is a nice shave. It really is. One thing I do wish about PAA, that they would make soap samples instead of the splash samples. But, you know, it's what works for Douglas, so that's what he does. But I would like soap samples. Uh, I feel like, I know the splash is going to last longer because it's not just an aftershave, it's an aftershave cologne. But uh, for some reason... I would like soap samples. All right, well, I'm going to get cleaned up with some cold water, and I will be right back. I am back. It's hard for me to not say that. <laughs> you guys didn't miss me. Okay, so let me know in the comments below, did you mind seeing the same soap in a row? Um, I just, I used to... Uh, pick a soap and use it all week long and then once I started doing some videos twice a week I didn't uh, want to show the same soap because I thought that may turn viewers away and uh, so I just wanted your opinion what do you think is it okay or would you like to see a different soap on the uh, extra videos I'm going to follow that up with a little star jelly and uh yeah so the shave is coming to an end i'm so sad but there will be another shave coming up i guarantee it all right well that is the shave for the day i'll put a photo right here and if you haven't already subscribed please consider doing that now and i will see you guys on sunday shave you have a great rest of your weekend or week whichever you might be watching this in another day than Wednesday. All right, see you guys.